Hey guys, I'm Mother Joshua Labadee, and sorry about this, um, strike is a bit late, um, I've got some problems here, but hey, uh, let's go over this real fast, it's a Armagocephalus strike, so you get a Armagocephalus themed, themed, not themed, I don't even know what to call these, just a, a regular epic incubator with some Armagocephalus DNA in it, which is pretty nice, and strike this is still a great dino overall. Anyways, let's go over the strike. Euphocephalus level 30, Amargosaurus level 30, Amargocephalus level 30. So here's the plan. Um, I don't know who goes first, so we're gonna go Sukdater. Sukdater does well against all three of them, but you can't use it against all three of them because it's gonna die <laughs> eventually, right? So if it's if it's Amar uh, Amargosaurus or Amargocephalus, we'll keep Sukdater in there. And then we will, you know, lethal and bleed them to death. If if not, if it's if it's actually Euphocephalus, um, a better idea would would to be just to instant distract the impact, and then we could swap into a bleeder with Dynamodactylus, or we could swap into one of these guys, take another hit, instant distract, throw up a shield, whatever, right? So that could be a plan, I guess, maybe. And then each one of these are. Decently capable of taking out either Margosaurus or Margoseth, I think. I'm not 100% sure, so it's just all stuff in my head. I've really put them down, pen and paper with the numbers, so this might go disast disastrously. Okay, let's see. Okay, it is you. Of all the things they could start with, they started with you, Stephlis. Although, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world. We get to use Diamond Diaclos pretty early here. Ouch, that crit kind of hurt, actually. Hmm. Let's sleep in this uh, Diamond Diaclos here. Damn, that crit. You guys, <laughs> the crit doesn't seem much, but in like battles like this, where like I'm using really low level dinos versus really high level dinos, Sometimes small uh, numbers uh, really do matter a lot, especially with Sucadator. Uh, especially if it's like a level 14, 15 Sucadator. Especially versus level 30s. I don't know why, but it's just, a, it's like a thing. Like, level 15, 14 Sucadators always like survive with like 100 or so HP against level 30 dinos. So hopefully we still survive here, but hey, who knows. There goes the Eucephalus, and we should be able to bleed whatever comes in next. Amargoseth, all right, all right. Um, they're gonna impact either way, so we're not gonna, so we're not gonna distract the first one. We're just gonna go for the wound, let them impact us, and then, ooh. Ouch, oh, that crit did not, <laughs> help us at all. Let's see. Um, yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> let's, let's throw in Carnotarchus just because it could take more hits. Uh, it did use D cell there, so we could use instant tractor first. Then we could set up shield. All right, regular impact, we're good. Sorta, kinda. Should be dead this turn. So then when Amargosaurus comes in, we could first go with the long protection. Wait, how fast is Amargosaurus? Is it like 107 or something? Oh, 103, okay. I was thinking something else then. Uh, let's see, yeah, <laughs> that's not useful at all. Let's just go for long protection so we don't die. Immediately. Ouch. That actually kind of hurts, but that's our only rampage move, so we can. Actually, I don't think we can actually take another one. Um, how about this? We're gonna go for a precise rampage here. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go for a precise rampage here. And then instant distract. Yeah, and then we should be good. Or do we want to go for that or just swap in the, um, ooh, 2280? 
24, okay. Nope. <laughs> we'll have to go for the distance track here then. Which should be good. I mean, we still have like 500 something HP. We got armor, we got a shield, and strength. We're, we're, we're gonna survive. Yeah, it did, barely did anything. So, looks like uh, it was successful. Um, random stuff thrown together uh, kind of works sometimes. It's not random stuff thrown, like every time, like every strike tower that doesn't involve like immune dinos or, or running dinos, I just throw together basic core of Sugitator, Dynodactylus, Purotaurus, plus something else. Usually an Alanka or Draco Gen 2, or maybe a Delta, and then see how it goes. Because, you know, th these are the dinos, because these dinos do percentage of opponent's HPs, so we don't need that raw damage. To, uh, usually, 20 levels down, we can't match with the, uh, the raw HP of the opponent, so... That's usually my thought process when I'm approaching strike towers for uh, folks with the lower level dinos. Anyways, let's crack this incubator open. Alright, got our 200 mark cephalus DNA. Coins, Apatosaurus, Aneosaurus, Diplogen 2, Irritator, nice. Uh, whatever that is. Dark, Dark Darwin Optus, I think it was. I cannot remember. Okay, also there's like another Epic Strike Tower, which is 10 steps, which I'm probably not gonna have time to finish today. So if you guys have trouble with this Strike Tower, uh, a video should be up tomorrow <laughs> on this one. Yeah, I I'm not gonna stay here for another like 30 minutes just to go over each step of this thing. Um, yeah. I'll do a few steps. First few steps. But not prep, not gonna finish this one. This is this is gonna take me a while, and if, yeah, uh, if, if folks say you know they don't mind ten step towers because there's like three days to do them. Well, sure for you guys, but like for me, I'm, when I'm trying to do a video, it's it takes it takes a while for me, right? Because I usually try to do them in one sitting. Don't want to break them up into separate videos, but uh, I don't know. Let's see how this one works. I'm gonna do like a few steps on this video and then I'll finish it up on like another one. <laughs> Ouch. Crit. Boom. There goes the irritation too. Um, what was the other dinos? I think there's a berry. Yeah, berry in two. Okay, it's power up strike, right? Yeah. No use in using, um, what was that? A uh, uh, long protection. For some reason, I wanted to use long protection, long protection against irritation too. But like, what? <laughs> okay. So the first few steps are relatively easy, right? You know, they don't have really high level dinos and all that, so not too much of a hassle here, for the most part. All right, and the uh, this kills. Okay. The 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 weird thing with the irritator gentium and berry gentium and why it took me like two rounds to take them out is they all use ready crush turn one, so they can't really hit me, so I can't do counter damage to them, and my precise rampage damage isn't enough. So <laughs> there's that. Okay, moving on. Uh, by the way, this this strike tower gives a, a lot of decent stuff, right? You got. Potentially Irritator from this, Beery Gen 2, so this is one of the better Epic Strike Towers, right? Alright, let's try this one again. Not again, just the next step, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Which I could have checked before I went in, but hey. <laughs> um, these guys, come on. I'll, I'll just do this instead. Who swap in definite strike? Ouch. Slash not really. These counters. The counters don't work too well in the early stages of the strike since it does a percentage of your opponent's HP and these things don't really have too much HP. <laughs> okay. Now let's keep on going and take this one out. Boom, that's a dead Caprasuchus. 
What was it? Irritator, Capricus, and something else. I think it's another rare. Doesn't matter. I'll just take them out anyways. Ready to crush. I really like Irritator's colors. I really do. It's one of my, um... More like designs in this game for non-hybrids. Oh, thankfully we do have enough damage to take this thing out into hits. All right. Ah, Pasticus. Okay. Whoa! It's gonna be a huge first hit for a level nine. <laughs> that is. Um, not enough to take it out. What another hit? I should. Finish it off here. Um, it's taken a while to load my moves. I don't know why. <laughs> and there's a dead Postucus. That's the second level of this Shrek Tower. Uh, let's do one more so we get at least our first incubator there. <laughs> okay. I'll take the coins. Hmm, version 2, okay, same thing, it's the first step, right? I think it was the same as the first step. Oh, oh well. Finding like stuff like this, like lower level dinos, it's, it's, it actually takes a bit more time with these dinos that generally do better against higher level uh, opponents, like the, the bleeders, the, you know, rending counter attackers. Just because like, they just don't have too much HP to begin with. So it's usually better just to go with like a regular, you know, whatever dino. <laughs> like Post Metrodon, Gorgosuchus, stuff like that, Sega Ceratops. I guess it doesn't really matter either, because we do enough damage to take them on two hits, which isn't too bad, but like nothing in one hit. Like no Rex, you know, one shotting whatevers. <laughs> right? 14. Uh, wait, I don't think I could take this thing out in two hits, can I? Well, without without the counter, so they're probably gonna get a hit in. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well, we'll just have to take a uh, ready crush boosted DSR here. Ouch! That almost killed me. <laughs> Would you look at that? And there's bed dead, bed dead, dead berry gen two. Last one, Ninja Sukas. Ninja Suitcase. Mm, is that enough damage to take me out? 20%. Yeah, it was like almost. Ooh, that was a close one. Alright, next turn we should have this thing done with. Wow, these are really lame. <laughs> I really don't like 10 step strike towers. They take forever and like the the initial steps are pretty much uh, a waste of time. <laughs> like most folks, even folks that just start the game, should be able to finish up the first few steps anyways. And then like, ugh, it's just <laughs> I don't know, it's just just kinda still like the hard part. Alright, let's open this one up. Coin starts, Jingosaurus, Capsules. Couldn't get anything useful in there, but hey. <laughs> That's fine. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Um, hopefully the the uh, thing helped for, for folks who couldn't otherwise beat the the uh, level 30 of Mark Cephalus Strike Tower. I know some folks have been asking me about it, but um, yeah, I, I had troubles with my phone uh, this morning, so I can really uh, get you guys the Strike Tower out uh, in the morning. So anyways, Thank you guys for watching. I uh, like if you did enjoy the video. Let me know what you got in your incubators in the comments down below. Subscribe if you guys to your channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.